How's it? In cowboydocsports.com. I'm coming at you here on Tuesday, May the 3rd, as we get this video pretty early today. Uh, and that's because we made some changes on YouTube Premium, which is why we're coming at you probably a little bit earlier today. But we'll talk more about that on YouTube Premium. But uh, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Nice free pick winner yesterday as we gave you the Suns and they got it done yesterday. I think we also gave you the Mets too. And that was a nice winner too. So 2-0 free pick run there. 84-50 and 50 over the last 134, which is tough to do. Hitting over 60% now for about uh, almost, what is it, three months? Almost four months now. 60% free picks for four months is quite hard to do. So and we try our best every day. So the day before... On uh, Sunday, we gave you Phillies Mets over as well. So try to get you a free pick winner here. Um, your free pick winner today is going to be between Milwaukee and Boston, and I'll also give you some thoughts on Seattle and Houston today in baseball. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and five months now, and Doc Sports has been around for 52 years. Been around a long time. How this works, our best selections are over at DocSports.com. It's under Indian Cowboy. A lot of other great statisticians and handicappers there. Then we do a YouTube premium channel, which would give you one extra thought every single day. And then we'll give you a live show, which now we're going to double the live show. That seems to be popular. So, And we were doing two YouTube premium selections per day, but the problem with that is I think it gets lost in the shuffle. Uh, I think it's uh, most people, I think if you do a YouTube premium selection, people enjoy it. It's kind of like our teaching channel. We get to go in depth. And then of course, the live show is the pearl, the diamond and the rough are all for just $20 a month where we give you at least 10 extra thoughts there. So you're getting 70, you know, 10 extra thoughts on a live show, usually 15 per week. So then that's 10 times four, it's 40. And then every day you get an extra selection of video. And it's something that we can do consistent and reproduce it on a consistent level, that one extra selection. So you're getting 70 extra thoughts per month off for just $20 a month. And you get to hang out with me for you know 45 minutes to an hour on a Thursday, which is fun. All right. And then be sure to, if you want even more content, be sure to check um, our Twitter, uh, which has our consensus polls and our uh, on Twitter, our late night, um, you know, our latest trends on late night ball games, latest updates, trivia questions, poems and limericks and our hot takes on sports. So what's up around the neck of the woods? Well, we have a five unit NBA selection today and then we have a four unit NBA, uh, baseball selection. We are 17 and seven in baseball right now for plus 4860. Uh, our seven-unit winner on the Yankees yesterday, getting it done easily. Uh, or not, I shouldn't say easily. I'm uh, getting it done three to two. NHL is uh, plus 82.90 on the year. It's been a very good NHL playoff season. A very good NHL season playoffs. We're trying to have a good season here. WNBA starts in three days, which is one of our favorite sports. And we're looking forward to it. Four-unit baseball today. Again, we're plus 48.60 out of the gate. 17 and 7, 3 and 0 baseball run. 5 and 1 and 14 and 5 baseball run. If we win today, we get to plus 52.60 on the year already. And for a season package holder, what is that? That's already, um, you know, a 700% ROI basically. Uh, and getting close to it, so that's pretty good. Five-unit base or NBA today. Horse racing, Kentucky Oaks on May the 6th. NHL four unit selection today as we are 60% exactly on the year, 131.86 for 82.90. WNBA starts in three days. Golf, 13 and 5 run, 7 and 2 for the weekend, so be sure to sign up for the golf season. MMA, 2 and 0 this past weekend, plus 11.05. And Korean baseball is back tomorrow. Your free play today. I like Boston to bounce back here against Milwaukee today. Um. I like Boston minus the four and a half here. You know, it's it's odd, right? Everybody's jumping on Milwaukee again, and I get it. Milwaukee played great in their last game, and they're catching about four and a half, five points. But I can't imagine Boston scoring 86 points uh, like they did their last game. And keep in mind that Boston has now lost to Milwaukee three straight games. So that's kind of getting punked pretty hard. And I don't, I just don't know if Boston loses once again. This is a team that had it pretty easy against Brooklyn. They just got knocked in the mouth here after having a facing a Brooklyn team that was pretty easy and that wasn't cohesive and there's a lot of drama. And uh, But now they're going to have to step up. They're going to have to go against the champs and really step up against the champs. I hate the fact that Middleton uh, is not playing because it almost makes me think the Bucks are even more focused without Middleton. But I think the Celtics bounce back today. 89 points is an extremely low total for them. It's one of the lowest outputs they've had in a long time this season. And the last time they scored something that low, they scored 92 against Dallas, but not even 89 points there. I could be wrong, but I believe it might be, yeah, 82 points. You have to go back to December the 29th for them to have that kind of low output. So I just don't think that happens again. I think the Celtics show some pride in like Boston here to get it done at home, minus the four and a half. 
I also like your extra lean for you here. Is I like Seattle, the Mariners, plus the one and a half. Good value here on a Mariners team. I hate going against the Astros and Garcia, who's a great pitcher. But Seattle lost zero to three yesterday. They're struggling on offense, and I get that. Houston bounces back nicely last game after back-to-back -back losses. But Flexen actually is not getting enough respect at all here. The, I understand the issue is Seattle can't score runs. But Flexen went 6-6-2, six, six, meaning six innings, six hits, and two runs against Tampa Bay last time. He went seven innings, six hits, and one run against Kansas City the time before. He was 14-6 and six with a 3.61 ERA last year. Still an above 500 team because both these teams are 12-11. and 11. It's not like they can't win. And, um, you know, Javier was five innings, four hits, and two runs against Texas in his last start. Did give up two walks, though, so six base runners in five innings. Um, but good value here with Seattle plus the one and a half. I also like the over there too, but Seattle plus one and a half is an extra lean for you. YouTube Premium have a great uh, selection here between Washington and Colorado for you. And that is about it. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day.